Hey guys, Gerald O'Neill here, uh, Wheelcastle Decorating. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, so, I'm on another outside job here. Um, started it last week. And uh, it's on a very busy uh, road here. Um, so, especially the front of the house, it does get a lot of abuse. You know, all the dust, the car fumes, and stuff like that. So, I'm putting on these walls uh, Santax uh, Extreme Exposure which I've used it a few times. Uh, you can get the ordinary sand text, which is very good as well. This stuff here, I have to say, now it's very good. Only comes in five liters. Doesn't come in 10 liter buckets. And uh, so basically what this house needs is, uh, the customer just asked me, the walls, he moved here about 30 years ago. The walls are quite rough, but the surface is tight. There's no flake and paint or anything like that. All he really wanted was two coats of brilliant white on the walls and uh, all the black. There's cornerstones, there's a plinth, there's cells, they're just all getting done black and basically. Straightforward job, uh, you know, very little preparation. Um, a few wee, just a few wee loose areas just needed to scrape away, sealed, and then two coats of masonry. And uh, I have to say now, this uh, sound text, nice to work with. There's a wee sheen on it as well when it dries and when you're putting your second coat on it just glides over you know very very good stuff um so i'm just working with a three inch brush for cutting in an eight inch uh deep pay roller sleeve not one of the heavy duty yes ones just an ordinary uh party sleeve uh which is perfect for this here uh, there's very little wish spray comes off this whenever you're rolling it as you can see here so this wall here at the back has had one coat. I'm putting a second coat on now. And uh, yes, yeah, it's just forward enough. You can see it's, uh, one thing I will say about this, this uh, it's just um, extreme exposure. I'll get the tin here for you. So where you go there? Um, I've used a lot of different masonry paints over the years. For me, this is the whitest masonry paint that I've used. It's brilliant, brilliant white. And, uh, you know, whenever I put it on, you know, the customers always, you know, they can't go over how white it is. But what I like about it is there is a nice sheen on it. And uh, so when you're putting your second coat on, you have to put two coats on. Even if it looks okay, you know, um, you know, this is a difference. See, see, you know, jobs like this. Um, you know, I put one coat in this and it looked okay. And I know a big lot of painters out there will just one coat and leave it. You, know, you need to put the two coats on, especially with this stuff here. And uh, but I'm going to put. I'm just going to roll this wall here for you and walk you around the job. So basically, as I said, it's been pretty straightforward. Now there's been a big gable, if you just look up there, you know, you can see that gable there. Uh, there's a wee roof there, as you can see. I had to put a ladder onto that roof to get up to the gable. If that wee roof wasn't there, it would have been a scaffold or a cherry picker to get at that. But believe it or not, it was fine. Now the facey board in this, um, it's really body, it's all rattled away, you know. Uh, over the years and he's taking it he's getting uh, it replaced he's basically taking the old facey board off putting a new piece of wood on and he's going to put a pvc uh facey board on so um yeah well it's, it's a good, good job handy enough to do all the high work's done so this is all up here has all had two coats you know i'll just pop this camera down here so this wee wall here I'm going to put that, uh, I'm just going to roll this wee wall and let you see how easy the second coat was on. Let's cut in, you know, so I had to cut in uh, right in that wee bracket there. At the bottom there, uh, there's a wee plinth, as I say, we're picking that out black. So you just go under that there, you know, and just a wee sand up there.
forward. Just glides over it. No, no problem at all. As I say, you can see. Now this here is a has been re uh, rendered with a squeeze render, so it's a bit harder to roll over that. But see the olds up here. The olds are quite rough, but as I say, it, it really does glide over. You know. Uh, I'll just walk around the job here and show you what, what, what we're doing anyway. Uh, okay, so basically, there you go. So there's that wall I just rolled there. All this at the top's getting done black masonry. Black cell, black cell. And the plimps at the bottom here. And then if I walk around here, uh, uh, all at the top here. So we are we picked just the top there them down pipes they were all done in masonry sill a couple of them sills now need a wee bit of a clean down sanded scrape down and that's all he wants scrape down sanded two coats of black masonry and we pipes there as well there you go and i'll just show you the pick again here from back here it's actually three story up there you know it was quite high so it was you know, and we'll just walk around here. It's a wee area in here. Again, there's that pick up there. Two wee windows, PVC size windows. Those wee cornerstones, wee bit of cutting in around them, around the there. See so this white here is all finished and then the front has to get a second coat. Top and bottom. So you can see all the black there around that wee yoga tree around the middle there. You know. Front PVC door. But I'll show you the surface of this old wall here. You can see it's all so it all looks quite apparently there was a pebble dice like a rough cast over this and the customer took it all back and it just let this rough looking surface but he likes it there's nothing wrong with it it's all tight it's all solid you know you can see up there do you see all that there but honest to god the the uh it just glided over it really did the, the paint you know but it looks all they want is a nice nice weight tight solid you know anyway so where you go there's another wee job i'm on hoping to have it finished this week if i just show you here now i'll just put this camera around let's see this brown house that's where i am next all those heads and cells are there's a few that need to be stripped right back with a blowtorch sealed on the coat and glossed anyway anybody has any questions sure about uh, exterior masonry or anything else you're all by all means leave me a message thanks now bye